Okay, here we are in something new for the channel, and this time it's your traditional style RPG, Boot Hill Heroes. I think this was on Kickstarter, it's been officially released through the developer's own channels so far. It's been greenlit for Steam, but it's not quite up yet. I don't know what the holdup is, but due to the whole gods will be watching thing, I've had to bump things up a bit. So here we are. And as you may note in the title, this is part one. There is more parts intended. Anyway, let's go ahead and just jump into a new game. And hopefully that style is reminiscent of Earthbound for those of you that have played it. I'm pretty sure it was a, an inspiration. Templeton, Mary. Templeton, you can't do this. You can't fight Coyote Saint alone. I have to, Mary. I'm the sheriff now, and it's my duty to protect the people. What if something happens to you? Do you want our son to grow up without a father? If the Saint's little gang isn't stopped today, there might not be a place fit for our son to grow up. There's more at stake here than a band of outlaws. People need to know they can live in a world where justice stands before strength. Where honor prevails over atrocity. That's the future I want for our son. I just hope that someday he will understand what happened here today. Why do you talk like you know you aren't coming back? They're here. The ugliest woman I've ever seen. Hell, I reckon you'd show up. You're a brave one, Sheriff. I'll give you that. Brave, but a fool. And now we can move. So you may notice a display there, how there's a controller with a one on it. The reason for that is because you can play co-op on this, but I will be going in solo here. I can't fight your convictions. You will do what you must, but stand strong against Coyote Saint. For Bronco County, for me, and for your son. The last sheriff was killed by Coyote and Scorpion Saint. Only you were brave enough to take up the badge. Even if you die here today, your name will live on forever. Yeah, it's not very reassuring. Some of the townsfolk heard about the duel and gathered here to watch. Show them what you're made of, Hal. I know what you're thinking, Hal. We use the same strategy in war. Remove the head and the body will die. But I don't think you should have agreed to let the rest of the Saints' little gang go free. Even without Coyote, they'll regroup someday. Yeah, I think it's better with the D-pad here. Coyote is an incredible fighter. Don't underestimate him. Dodge his Doom Trigger attack at all costs. Coyote Saint has a dark influence to those around him. Without you, I'd still be going down that dark road with him. I can never be forgiven for what I'd have done, but you gave me a chance to earn at least some redemption today. You've shown me that even the most average person can rise up to protect his fellow man. Good luck to you, Sheriff. Making a mistake, Hal. If we all fight together, then we can take down the Saints' little gang. If you go at all, go at it alone. You only get yourself killed in a one-on-one -on -one duel. Ever since the Saint and the little families joined up, all the never do wells have been coming out of the woodwork. I don't think we'll ever have peace again. Can't believe they're here. Seven most ruthless, bloodthirsty killers and criminals there ever was. Assembled right here for a final showdown. I'm just quaking my booties, just looking at them. I sure feel sorry for whoever got stuck being sheriff. Well, that's reassuring. The Saints Little Gang are the demons of the West. And Coyote Saint is the devil himself. I'm praying for you, Templeton. But what chance does anyone have against such a reckless evil? Just a farmer. What makes you think you can stand up to the Saints' little game? After this shootout, I'm grabbing the kids and hightailing it out of Bronco County. What's the point of 
heavy laws. Monsters like these are just going to ignore them. May as well join them. And that's the old guy again. He tried Law and Order and it didn't work. Maybe Coyote Sane is right and we should just let the strong say what's what. Do you think he'd let me join the gang? I had a chance to play some bets on this fight. I'd give you 20 to 1 odds. I will enjoy seeing Coyote kill you. Then leave your corpse here to rot in the sun while, he loot the, while we loot the town for everything she has. Many have stood against us, but they've all been flattened like a rat on a railroad track. Can't wait to see Coyote make you eat that badge you wear so proudly. in the night sky. The cry of a dying wolf woke the bison this morning. These are signs of your doom, Templeton Hell. You will not survive this day. This ain't too far from where Coyote and I killed Blast, Sheriff. This time, I'm giving my brother the honor. And here's the man himself. Moses, I want you to take the others. And hightail it out of here. I ain't leaving you. What would Goldie say if I didn't stay to protect my little brother? Do it. I'm going to finish things here. You heard him. Move your hides. And if this were the Wild West... I'll get to that in a second. What do you say, Hal? Are you ready to end our little war once and for all? One good shot is all I need. Right here is where the outlaw would have shot the sheriff in the back and been done with the whole damn thing. But I guess that makes for an anticlimactic video game. Haha. <laughs> Look at us. You think you're different than me just because you wear that badge? It doesn't change the fact that in the end we're just two men pointing guns at each other. We're all just animals fighting to survive. The rest of it is just empty words and foolish sentiment. You'll go to your grave for a meaningless cause, Hal. But before you die, you'll realize I was right. On that day, justice prevailed. The terror that had brutalized Bronco County ended with a final shot. Sheriff Templeton Howell lost his life, but the reign of the evil Saints Little Gang has, was finally over. Percy, Cowboy Coyote Saint, the leader of the Saints Little Gang, was wounded, but survived the shootout. He was found guilty for his crimes and taken to Devil's Hole, the county prison. A dreadful fortress known as the most impenetrable place in the West. No one gets into Devil's Hold and no one gets out. The evil that plagued Bronco County was forever sealed in that prison. A few remaining members of the Saints Little Gang were never caught. The leaderless and few in number they dispersed and went into hiding. They were never heard from again. And so, after months of fighting, peace finally settled in Bronco County. Lawlessness made way for civilized society. New businesses gave the county direction and prosperity. Good people could make decent lives for themselves. But history has a way of repeating and as long as the hearts of men still wander, evil always finds a way of returning. Ten years later. So, definitely getting the Onet vibes from how Earthbound began. The American West, sometime in the 19th century.
Will there be a meteor impact? Bronco County, near the town of Swellsville. The Howell Family Farm. And unfortunately, I think that ugly mug is us. Okay, spun shirt. How do I open my mic? There we go. So, weapon, shield, armor. No materials, stats. That sucks. Saints alive, darling. I thought you were going to lie in bed for a coon's age. I'm still fussing with the fixins. We'll have slapjacks and ham doing soon. I skipped over some of that. Last night I heard the most frightful ruckus in the barn. I suspicion it to be them varmints up to no good. She didn't talk like this back when Templeton was alive, so what gives? So, deal with the rats, get an egg. Let's go ahead and save. So, is he gonna be our save for the entire game or what? Pause, I know. 
honest. Defeats before your might. Clean sweep. Double EXP and recover all health. So you got 22 there. And here's the egg. The dogs had revisit some rooms. Whisker. Okay. And we have some materials now, but we'll have to see what those are used for. Just go with my favorite. I don't really know if your choices matter. Yeah, but she didn't fetch the eggs. I saw the letter. Bounty hunting? <laughs> nah, I like beer. Yeah, let's blow this hop stand.
And she's actually talking normal now, I guess. And I guess he's not sleeping that night. Kerosene. Found oil. A pelt. Go for a walk. And where all can we go? I think just up, really. So our adventure begins. Nothing can take from there. Ashwood, Swellsville, north is Boot Hill. Heading this way because I think due to the title of the game, this is probably where you're supposed to go first, but I'm kind of guessing still. sequel. But I guess this solves the whole general store problem. So we can call it a day here. Happy ending for everyone except for the people down there in the inferno. The next morning. Whetstone, eh? So do I actually have to maintain my weapons, or... Is that just like a crafting ingredient? Also, I was hoping this day would not come for a few more years, but it's time to say goodbye to your poor ma. We're into an old friend of your father's, and they're missing the apostrophe there. Quentin Hayward. Who runs stables up by the way is Swellsville. He's agreed to see you settled as a stable boy. Go see Mr. Hayward, and he'll tell you what to do. Now, I want you to stay out of trouble, you hear? The world is a dangerous place, and city folk aren't like us farm folk. Be careful who you talk to, and don't go getting mixed up with the wrong crowd. Oh, I almost forgot. We can't have you running around Swellsville looking like a poor farm boy. You gotta fit in with those city folk. I raked together a few pennies and got you this fancy hat. Now don't you be protest and let your poor ma give this to you. Go ahead now, dear, put it on. So that actually does cause a difference in your character. Now don't you look like a proper gentleman. Probably you say that the hat makes the man. It's a well-known fact of life that your behavior is affected by the kind of hat you wear. Don't be surprised if just by wearing that hat you start to find yourself learning new skills that will help you in your doings. Father called such skills advantages, because they give you a leg up in situations. You probably learn all kinds of advantages in life, but you can only have four available at any time in battle. So remember to set them from your menu first. Well, that's all I have for you. Go out to Swellsville and see to meeting Mr. Quentin Hayward at the livery. Don't you worry about me. I know you'll work really hard for Mr. Hayward, and he can afford to pay these pesky bills the bank keeps on sending. But please, son, do come back and visit your poor old mother from time to time. And if you ever get hurt out there, I'll be here to fix you up. Tumble. 
Another room, bench, different floors, and apparently a few of our characters can use that once we pick them up. Home sponge shirts, sewn by your mom. And what the hell do the pluckers do? Pluck useful materials from animals like chicken, sheep, pigs, and cows. Okay, that can come handy. Hey kid, did you hear all that commotion last night? Whatever it was, it's got my chickens riled up. Brown squawkers are pecking at anyone who gets near them. These squawkers can be pretty tough, so maybe you want some combat tips? Sure, why not? Red bar here represents the enemy's health. If you can pummel it down to nothing, then they'll calm down. That's how you win fights. This blue bar here represents the enemy's power. Power is needed to perform actions in battle. Power gradually charges during the battle, and when enough power is charged, the action is executed. See this little white line here? That's the action they're performing. Power cost is the current action the enemy is charging to do. So when the power charges to this point, they'll perform this charged action. What action will they do? Oh, there's no telling. Generally speaking, more dangerous attacks cost more power. So if this line is farther to the right, then look out. You might want to make sure you have a stance like dodge active to so hopefully avoid the attack. Although if the attack has a high accuracy, you might stumble your dodge and get hit anyway. You can also try to trip the enemy to reduce their power before they fully charge the attack. I'm sure you'll learn other advantages in the future that will be useful as well. Remember the secret to balance and understand what actions do and when you should use each action. And there's the info button stuff we've already known. And let's fight the first brown chicken. A pop is squawker here is trying to bully you. Let's pop dodge. And we stumble. Lose a percentage of their current power and chooses a different action. You can swap your force advantages, etc., etc. We picked up a brown feather. So we want this rushy hatchet here. And did I talk to this guy yet? Hey, Kate, what brings you away from home? Can't job in the city, huh? I hear you. Time's been tough for us farmers ever since that new general store opened in Swellsville. Us old-fashioned farmers just can't compete with these big city business folk. By the way, have you seen my hatchet? I know I left it around here somewhere. I have not seen your hatchet. What did this hatchet look like? The one I'm holding, you say? And he's stunned, so I don't actually know what that means. We stumbled, no! Okay, we learn block, absorb some physical damage. Dirty. 
between ruggedness. I wonder if dexterity is accuracy, crits, or what. But then what's the difference between ruggedness and grit? Smarts, I assume, would be like a magic type skill, maybe? Well, I'm sure they'll explain in time. And let's. This is a sheep, right? Because that's an ugly sheep if that's the case. Damn it. You be careful, it smells really here. Lots of vice and temptations are found in town. Ma says that sea life changes a man. Hopefully, it will change you for the better. Borrowed half a dollar. Which is quite a lot in the old west. Kid, you're going to a fine young man. Your father would be so proud. This kind of owes a great deal to Templeton Hell. I'm sorry he isn't around to see how his son turned out. And can I... Claw. Apple. Another gossamer. Did I talk to the old man? Let me make sure. Ever since that new general store opened Swellsville, people have been buying their produce at a cheaper price than us farmers can sell it for. I guess that's what they, that's what they call progress. It's sad for us, but that's just the way of the world. Things are always changing. And I'm gonna end up having to fight this guy, but I think I'm done with the whole grinding thing, if you want to call it that. Alright, Your dog Rusty must have followed you from home. Man's best friend indeed. Pooch just can't stand to see his master leave him. Well, want me to take him back to your farm for you? No thanks. Probably won't make a difference anyway. It's obvious Rusty wants to stay near your side. He'll probably always be somewhere close by, wherever the road may take you. Ashwin Swellsville Boot Hills to the west. Found moccasins. Hoped in one of those nasty trail snappers on my way to Swellsville. Good thing I just happened to have my frying pan with me. Gave that beast a good walloping. Ran off so fast that it dropped its own shell behind. Say, I don't have any use for it. Want the shell? Sure, why not? Sometimes enemies drop materials like this after they're beaten. These materials may not have any use, but you can sell materials at stores and town to make money. Or maybe you'll find someone down the road who can use them to make something useful for you. Okay, so that explains that. No, apparently you can't go around stealing people's brooms. Guess it's not that kind of Wild West game. I am going to put the first break here. So, game saved, and that's where we'll stop for now. I'm the Hero of Light, thanks for watching, and goodbye.